Sean and Corey. We just ran into two hunters. Or two really suspicious guys that came out of nowhere. Scared the shit out of us. Um, they were carrying guns and stuff. Um, they're all right with us, but uh, they they definitely seemed kind of suspicious. They're shooting rounds right now. They said that that the guy the guy that we ran into said that he used to work here, and that we were fine, even though we we pretty much already talked to police and they said it was fine as well. But it was just uh, wicked sketchy. They were both carrying and uh, they're carrying pretty heavy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so that kind of worried us um, Both me and Corey are kind of like freaked out Because we're not like expecting to run into Anybody or you know like people being armed um, So that was that was pretty weird I don't I, Oh, you got the guns everybody? They're shooting off guns. That, those guys were way too loaded. Like that, that was really weird how we found that bunker. Yeah. And then those guys all of a sudden showed up out of nowhere. Yeah. And and when we're heading down there, we just saw the person with a big black dog. I mean, the dog looked like a freaking horse. Yeah. And it was a big shaggy dog and it was black. And the guy started walking towards us, and me and, me and Corey just kind of decided to keep on going towards that bunker that we found, the World War II bunker. And as we're turning around, coming back, um, those two hunters, or whoever they are, came out of nowhere, and they were armed to the T. So I don't know what was up with that, but uh, me and Corey, we just talked to them. They told us a few things, and they just seemed like they were really... Nervous because they're both looking around and and uh, it, it was definitely odd. But um, we're gonna go back into the building now. That's a little darker. Do that really quick, and then we're getting the hell out of here because they are loaded to a T with guns and and I don't really think me and Corey both want to be around when they're around. So. Yeah, to see if there's a car over there. If there's no car, then they must have walked in from somewhere. I don't. I don't know yeah. Yeah. where they could have came from. There's no houses around here. Yeah. Okay. Going, going here really quick. Oh, yep, yeah, there is. Yep. Yeah. So they drove in. Huh. Okay. We'll do this building real quick, and then we'll get the hell out of here. That's that was weird. Right. Like that. We're gonna have to ch check his uh, his plate to see if he really is a cop, like he said he was, a retired police officer. Because yeah. I don't know, he didn't seem like, like you said, he didn't seem like a police officer. No. And why would a pl police officer be so loaded? Well, I mean, it could have, because you have the side thing that quiet police have. So. Oh, the, the, the uh... You, you never know. So. Side pouch. Right. And Corey are going in here. Now that we know there's people around, just be extra cautious. It's a little darker now, so... Yeah. Creepy factors... Creepy factors up. There is a lot of old broken stuff in here. My heart's starting to finally come down a little bit. I was. Could be a little nervous for you. Uh, yeah. not not really nervous. I was, I was more like, Excited. why the hell? Yeah, what's going on? Yeah. yeah. If they're making tar and crap, like he was supposedly saying, then why do they have like, like cooking crap? And they're really firing off rounds. Yeah, they are. Oh, here's a company hat right here. Pike. Pike Industries. Yes. Is that what he said? Yep. Why is there... Why is there freaking... There's, there's something weird going on around here. 
Look at all these freaking shells. Yeah. Champion rim rim fire. So, so he, that guy that we ran into, he must be like shooting out the windows, cause or doing something. Cause why would there be gun shells in here? I don't know. Is there anybody in here with us that used to work at Pike Industries? That's an old company, he said, right? Supposedly. If, if what he was saying is true. Yeah. Because he said, what, it's been 20 years? And what, yeah, because they might have been. So if it's 20 years, and they might have opened. Look at all these. 19. Look at all these freaking bullet shells. Like, like what's up with that? Like, I don't know. Maybe they. it might not have been them. It might have been... People are coming here to sleep. See old bathroom. What was that? I have no idea. I think it was stepped on something. I don't know. Those guys were definitely suspicious. Yeah, they were sketchy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know. I was weird. Oh, something just shattered itself all over the place. <laughs> so Pike Industries. There's no name on it. So Pike Industries. So uh, he said the guy's name was Pike. What's this? Bradford Ford Henniker. Oh, one. So that's when they must have closed. Back in oh, one. Yeah. So that's how old? Seventeen years. Seventeen years, yeah. yeah so, so he was kind of in there. Yeah. Man, he's really firing off rounds. Yeah, is. this place looks like. A... I bet you if you could clean it up, it'd be a nice. That'd be a lot of cleaning up to do. Yeah. That was definitely like weird though how like we yeah, saw it, well that that person with the black dog we saw her, and they started walking towards us with like that black dog that was like almost like the size of a horse. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing we know there's two guys and they're armed. Yeah. So it's like it's like what the hell? You know what I mean? Yeah. No, that's sketchy. There's some old crap in there. Mm -hmm. Now we're back outside. We're going to be Heading towards a car. I'm signing off. Um, so, uh, just in case that guy watches our YouTube videos, he doesn't see. Look at these things. What are these? There's two of them. I know. You hear that? Yeah, you know, like a dog, like. Like it's yelping? A, yeah, yelping in pain or something. Yeah, that is a dog yelping in pain. Great. No, it's, gonna, it's getting like... Probably in the car, so I was going to say, it's getting sketchy around here. Alright. We're going to be signing off, everybody. Um, this is STC Ghost Hunters. Uh, we, we're doing a recap right now. We just ran into a guy that was walking towards us as we're heading down towards the World War II bunker um he had a huge black dog about the size of a horse um we don't know where he went he totally disappeared i mean this was not like a normal sized dog was it it looked like uh it was about the, almost the same size as a great dean but black and it was shaggy and it was shaggy yeah it was shaggy and and the guy the guy looked like he was what like dressed in all gray yeah he was like he looked like he was dressed in gray i mean when we met up with those two guys, he had gray on, gray hat, gray jacket, and had a hand pistol. They're out shooting in the thing, um, but... Yeah, they came out of nowhere, like right yeah, after we yeah, reached the bunker. Exactly. Which is strange. Either I hear people shouting, or that's a dog, like, dog. yelping. 
All right, we're signing off, everybody. That was our STC recap. Thank you for your time.